YouTube. Probably should have done all this beforehand before I started this video, shouldn't I? I'm sat on the bed a minute, so let me just push myself back and get myself some room. So, welcome to Flosh Tube number 16. Technically, this is supposed to be Flosh Tube number 18, um, but for some reason, I can't find my two other videos previous or they've got a bit jumbled up somehow. <laughs> so, I'm actually going to do it from Flosh Tube. Flush tube number 16. Firstly, I would like to apologise about all this mess in the background. <laughs> it's hard difficult to try and find a place where I can actually do these flush tube videos. Um, I could do them downstairs, but my husband, he'll be on his um, PlayStation 4 at the minute. So, yeah, he'll be probably cursing, maybe a bit of swearing in between. Um, and basically yes <laughs> cursing about because he's doing some things on his game at the moment so let me just bring you a little bit more closer and we might be able to get it a bit more then I've actually managed to get a tripod by the way guys because the last few videos oh that's much better the last few videos I've done without a tripod I've basically used a makeshift tripod uh, hence a cardboard box but I managed to get myself a tripod this time. So, let's talk about what we're actually here for. Um, yes, I haven't done a flush tube for a little while because I, I found that I haven't had an awful lot that I feel like I needed, that I had to talk about. I didn't want to be talking um, just for about five minutes and be boring because I hadn't brought anything. I hadn't done any finishes and my progress was quite slow at the beginning so I hadn't done one for a while but I thought I'd do one today because I wanted to get one out there um, before I go into any of it I've got a retreat coming up my first ever flush tube retreat that I'm going that I, that I personally will be going to um, next Friday it is the retreat in Crew. It, it'll be at the Witchwood I'll tell it'll be a retreating crew. Um, so if any of you are actually going to that retreat, just drop me a comment below and let me know and we can say hi and have a chat. <laughs> so, uh, I've got all my stuff on here. I've got a bit of a range, to be honest. I've got some cross stitch. I've actually got a little bit of crochet because that's what I've been doing as well. And a little bit of haul, but I just wanted to show you a few things. So the first thing that I'm actually going to show you is um, I'm going to go into this bag. Now this is one of my stitching bags. This is a whip that I'm actually doing at the minute. I'm not doing bad. That's what I actually keep it in. Do you like it? I got that bag from the pound shop um, in Morecambe. So I'm not actually, I'm not sure if they're closing down the pound shop. So I could be wrong. I could be right, but I'm not too sure yet. So, my whip, well, what's the same, my whip? Kind of one of my whips. I've been working on it for only about a month. I started it a month ago, so it's a kind of a new start slash whip. But I've only got a little bit left of it to do. I've been doing this kind of religiously for the last few nights. Uh, well, say last few nights for the last month. And I've been working really hard on it. And I'm quite surprised how quick that I've actually been doing it. Um, if I just get... I remember showing you this in a previous video. I hadn't yet started it. It was included in a haul. Is this. It's by Heritage Crafts um, Harmonies. And it's called the Chorus Line. With some blue tips there you can either stitch them as they are there or you can stitch them actually in a line um i've been stitching them in a line my friend saw this online she's a little bit of a stitcher herself but i know she just doesn't do floss tubes so i'm quite sad there she won't see it um but she's actually started stitching herself um for a couple of months and she's working on an anchor kit but i remember her seeing this and she actually really took to it and she wanted it um, for a nursery because she's um, due to have a baby at the end of October. So 
yeah she quite took to that kit so I was doing it secretly even though she knows that I'm actually stitching it for her now because I took it with me when I went to go and visit her um, a few weeks well yeah a few weeks ago now and I was working on it when I went so I'd only just really started it a few weeks ago when I went to see and I think I did about one or two birds blue tits at the most now I've got one blue tip left to do now i'm quite impressed with this because i must admit i love animals i really do love animals um but stitching animals and coloring animals because i love adult coloring as well i'm not a big fan on uh coloring or stitching animals but i'm quite surprised with this i've actually really really enjoyed stitching this it is stitched on 14 count ada uh, as you can see it's quite creased at the minute because I've been using a hoop to actually work on it see my needle minder there and it's stitched using DMC threads and as you can see there they're so cute I think it's really pretty you'd think that to stitch some blue tits like that it'd take a lot of detail and a lot of time but surprisingly it has been very very quick to do as you can see at the end there this space that I've got there I've got to stitch one more blue tit there that I've actually started well I haven't started stitching the blue tit yet but I've started stitching the uh, the branch that they're on if I hold it up closely you can see obviously it's black branch there so at the end I've got to stitch another blue tit and after that that is finished except for some back stitch but I'm not actually a fan of backstitch. I hate backstitching. So I'm going to have a look when I've done it. I'm going to have a look. At, I'm going to have a look at the backstitching, but I might not do all of the backstitching. I might do just a little bit, uh, especially on this one here, because obviously you can't really see a beak there. So I'm going to do a little bit of backstitching on that one for definite, and probably a little bit on the others. But I'm not going to worry overly worry about the back stitching on this um because i'm not a fan of it so i just don't enjoy it and i've really been enjoying doing this project i've actually really enjoyed doing it so that is that and i shall be taking this my aim to get this done is well i'm going to see my friend at the end of august again for a visit so ideally i'd like to get it finished for them for when i go and see her because i'm going to take a few things down for her so i'd like to get it finished for now uh and the way that i've actually i keep saying actually don't i for the way that i've been well the way that i've that i've been stitching i should think i'm going to have that done easy for august um i'd say I'd give it another couple of weeks and that will be done um that's depending on how much i actually stitch on Actually said it again how much I stitch on my other projects because I've picked up another project obviously so that is that one I'd say give it another couple of weeks and that one will be done I'll keep it in my bag there I do my stitching bag and this one is well this craft bag is done by lollipop stitches uh, on her Etsy shop so go and check out lollipop stitches Etsy you can get some really lovely bags on that uh, the next thing I wanted to show you is my next whip that I'm, at, that I'm doing now this one I've picked this up after a very very long time of not doing it I started it quite a while ago now and if you remember in some previous stitching videos well previous floss tube videos that I did I talked a little bit about it, the Pinocchio kit that I'm doing for my son for his bedroom. Well, I went for, I went for such a long time without doing anything at all on it because I kind of bit more than I can chew <laughs> when I got this. But that is what the kit is going to look like when it is done. I felt when I saw the chart for this on eBay, I instantly fell in love with it instantly. I just love it. My son, he loves Pinocchio, and you may hear him in the background because he's in his room at the minute having a bit of play time, personal time. So, yeah, I started stitching that, and I got as far as doing just a couple of squares in the top corner. 
because of the lot of, a lot of the stitches I found that I didn't have and I wasn't quite happy with the fabric and I'll let you know why now uh, when I went in the shop I just got the chart I didn't get it as a kit I just got the chart so I went in the shop and thought I'd get some fabric and some threads for it the threads are done with DM, using DMC I guess you could use different threads if you wanted to but personally I use DMC, DMC to do it and I asked for 14 count hydra and she gave me the 14 count she cut it um, and then obviously I started stitching it but for some reason as you can see here you can see the Ada in between the stitches can you see what I mean there if I hold it up close I feel like it doesn't give it complete ball coverage you can still see the Ada now that was a big turn off for me because when I started stitching it before I just thought I'm just not happy with it especially with the Ada but then I, I'd already start, I know I'd already started stitching it and I marked off the chart and I thought I really don't want to have to go through that again and try and think about the actual stitches um, the symbols of the stitches so I thought so I'd be going through that again I thought I'm just going to wing it out I'm just going to carry on with it and I think it's raining outside I just thought I'd wing it out and just go with the flow because um, as you can see I've been working a fair bit on it I've recently picked it up um, yeah as I was saying when you hold it close when you hold it when you see it close up to you you can see the spaces but the further I bring it back the less you can see the actual spaces on there so I thought with it being put on a wall it's not going to look that bad to be honest well I'm hoping it's not going to I know when I'm holding it there it's just when I'm holding it close you can see the spaces but when I'm holding it there when it's gonna, going to be on a wall you can barely see it so I'm just going to wing it I'm going to carry on with it because it would be a shame to actually put it to actually do it would be shame to put it to the side and just not carry on with it I do want to carry on with it but as you can see uh, when I showed you this before I think I'd only done a few squares at the top there in one of my previous videos where I've done that now I've done about half a page here the reason for picking this up again is I'm in a craft group at the minute well I'm with two on Facebook I'm with Stitch Mania. Um, I haven't I haven't done any things that they do in Stitch Mania where they do so many starts for the month because I be, I just can't do that because of obviously with life commitments as well it does take up my time. Um, but I'm with the Mad Stitchers uh, group as well where I'll be going with them on Friday to a, the retreat. And basically, what the, the reason why I picked this up again is because we had a challenge set up not necessarily for my stitches but we had a challenge set up for the next month from the 1st of June it was until the 30th of June we have to pick out either a whip or a new start and try and manage to do 3,000 stitches within that month so I thought with me um, I could do a new start because I've got quite a few stitching kits to, to do but I thought I didn't want to make a new start because I don't want to do too many because with my other projects, other things I like to do as well, obviously again it's timing. So I thought I'm going to pick this up out again, I'm going to have a go of it and see how I do. So I picked this up again and that's where I started and I've got a fair bit, a little bit more that I'm, than I've done so I'm quite really pleased with that. Um, as I said it's stitched on 14 count Ada. And it's using DMC threads. It's quite a few colours as well. If I remember correctly, it's about 54 colours. Where what I've done with them, with the colours, to make it easier. Because I also found with that kit, when I was doing that, all I seem to be doing all the time is just threading the needle and searching for different colours of threads. And that's what um, annoyed me a fair bit before. Because I just spent most of my time doing that than I actually did stitching. So what I did was I've made um, thread holders for the threads that I'm using. I've got about three here. 
with the different colours on. I probably will make some more. But I've started them. But also with the colours that I'm using at the minute as well. Is I got these little packs. These little sealable packs. And I put each colour in each of the packs. So now, now I've got them on the thread holders here. Every time I'm using a thread, if I run out on there... All I have to do is have a look at the thread that I'm using and just instead of looking through loads of separate threads in a big bundle, I'm, all I'm doing now is just looking through the packs and I've also left the numbers of the actual threads with them as well. So all I have to do is just look on the thread packs and wherever I need, I just take out. It makes life so much easier doing that. Um, and that is the reason why I've been... Um, committed well I feel a bit more committed to doing that it is a lot easier so if you do have bigger projects um, do that make <laughs> I've just got one on the floor make thread holders um, with the rest of the actual threads put them in their little sealable thread uh, little sealable packets it, honestly it does it makes life so much easier mm -hmm. when you're doing that um, the other whips that I'm making now these are not necessarily cross stitch but I thought I might as well show you because I know no, it's not everyone's cup of tea but a few cross stitches out there they do like crochet and knitting as well this other kit that I'm doing I've been doing this for a couple of weeks for my friend who's the same friend actually who's having the baby I'm crocheting a blanket for her now I hadn't done any crocheting for a bit so I thought I'll do a little bit, I really fancied doing it and she picked the colours when I went to go and visit her last, we went in Hobbycraft and she picked the wall and she picked the colours that she likes as well Cause, because she doesn't know what she's having yet so she went for like a lemony greeny pastel creamy colours so I've been doing that for her. I'm actually doing the border at the minute, I'm making it in the blanket is only that big because this blanket i'm doing it as a car seat as a carry cot blanket and when i've done that because i've got some leftover wool as well i'm going to knit her a hat and some mittens matching mittens to go with it so it's more like a car seat a carry cot set and it's really cute there Woo! <laughs> Yeah, so that is crochet, just a normal, it's like a normal granny stitch square, but I, instead of just doing small squares, I just carry on and on and on and on. So, yeah, and I really, really enjoy doing that. And um, by the way, if if crocheting, if you are interested in trying crochet, I know a few people have said that they're interested in doing crochet mm -hmm. um, from the stitching group that I'm with check out on youtube it is brilliant for crochet tutorials but the bestest one that i find that is fantastic is sarah jane from bella coco she's fantastic this is how i learned how to crochet i could not crochet to save my life years ago i never i'd never even know how to do it and i always fancied trying it after seeing people's crocheted blankets so i checked out um, Sarah Jane it took me a couple of attempts to do it but you know if you don't get it sec first time second time even third time keep on trying because I promise you you will get it you will get it uh, because once you get the hang of it you're well away and if you haven't done it for a while it's like as it says to say it's like riding a bike you never forget the only thing that I don't know how to crochet yet is things like clothes and teddy uh, toys and that because I'm not really I'm not really into crocheting toys or clothes um, but I just enjoy crocheting blankets. So the next whip that I want to show you, it's not cross stitching but in a way it is. <laughs> uh, I've mentioned this in previous videos. This is diamond painting. What diamond painting is, it is very simple. It's just like having, it's a canvas, you have a canvas, uh, and it's just like cross stitch. On the canvas you have the printed design, and I'll show you there, I can't get in trouble for you doing this, I don't think. You have the printed design there, 
and the printed design when you pull back these bits it's very sticky and the reason why it's sticky it's like adhesive you have little tiny gems little squares you can get them in circles as well but i do recommend just getting the full the full count the square ones instead of the circles because the circles they can tend to move about quite a bit so all you do is at the side of the design as well you have the corresponding symbols and numbers just like you do in cross stitch and if i remember correctly the numbers are actual dmc numbers but instead of using threads you use gems you use little diamonds you use gems and all you do is find the corresponding symbol on there and you just choose the right gem and you just stick the gems on this is a kit that i'm doing for my husband at the minute um and as you can see in the top corner that is what i'm doing it it's a skull and crossbones basically it's like a lover's couple and that's as far as i've got with it yeah i love it i love how the diamond kits how they really sparkle can you see that they look gorgeous when they're when they're done and they're just sparkling like that absolutely stunning i have not worked a lot on this yet well not worked a lot on it though um because i will be honest with with the diamond painting kits they're absolutely wonderful to do but for me personally my back they're not a big fan of my well my back is not a big fan of it because i tend to get a really bad backache um, i'm at, i'm on medication for it because normal pain normal painkillers just was not cutting it just was not making a difference um they did not help my back so unfortunately even though i love um, doing those diamond paintings projects myself uh unfortunately my back just can't take too much of it but i try and do a little bit when i can every now and then uh, so that is my projects my bit of haul i've got a little bit of haul um some of it cross stitching some of it well actually it's only a tiny bit of haul but like i said some it's cross stitching some it's not um i'll show you the bit that it that isn't really cross stitching related yes um as you know well you might not know um last saturday was my birthday so i had some gift vouchers to use in any number of shops i did want to get a makeup palette but i couldn't find it so i treated myself to some well just what a magazine and a just crafting items really and i brought these from wh smith's <laughs> some of you may know some of you don't you probably will do because i also do a coloring book reviews and i've also recently done a color along i just got these a uh, 30 set of felted pens for my adult colouring I love I just love adult colouring and I really really wanted to try these out so I just thought I'd pick those up um they're like oh they're like Crayola um tips are just the same as Crayola tips um but they're just WH Smith's brand so I got those um the next bit which is crafting related is a few weeks ago with my friend um we went to Preston to well we went to meet someone for coffee and we ended up going in Preston and Preston they have like a shopping complex and they have a hobby craft because the nearest hobby craft to me is in Preston but unfortunately Preston for me personally is quite far because I don't drive and none of my family drives so um it'll be a train ride for me and even then the train doesn't go straight to the complex because the complex is just way out in Preston but cut a long story short my friend who I spoke to who also likes crafting she asked if I fancy going for a coffee and to meet some people and well they cannot be craft so I went with it great and I picked up this I picked up two threads two black threads that I needed for a kit at the time and I had to be good I had to try and be good to stop myself from getting lots of kits so I just picked this one up. It was Hobby Crafts Arm Range, and this is it's just like an embroidery kit. Uh, yeah, embroidery kit. It says it at the top. Uh, it's just an embroidery kit on a unicorn, and it's really using. I think it's kind of using long stitches. To be honest, I've never really done anything like that before. So I thought I'd give it a go. Um, we'll open it actually. 
I've said it again, I've been sure. We'll open it and we'll have a quick look at the fabric because I haven't opened it yet. Because of doing other projects, I haven't opened this one uh, to have a look. So we get the fabric and on the fabric your design is already pre Okay, now that is very disappointing. Hmm. On here it looks big, doesn't it? It looks like a fairly large design. That's small. To me, that design looks very small. Yeah, I'm not actually I'm not widely impressed with that. I would just wish it was a tiny bit bigger. Look at all that fabric there as well. There's plenty of fabric there, so they could have made that design a little bit bigger. So yeah, I'm saying that now for first time for doing it, I guess it's okay. So I just thought I picked that up. It was I think it was about five ninety nine, six pounds. I don't know. Get the chart here. No, I know that you're not supposed to show charts on floss tubes, but I'll see where I can get in trouble for this. But you've got a chart there um, with the numbers on it. I've got the threads as well. Now, the threads here, I don't think it's um, any kind of brand of threads. Um, actually, I really like the th those thread colours are really pretty. Those are really nice thread colours. I'm really, really impressed with those got some lovely colours there some lovely blues and lovely pinks um as i said i don't think it's um dmc colours i've also got a needle with it there um i guess it's okay for first trying out for trying it uh see how i'll get on with it i can always do that um what else i bought as well yes the other day when i went when i got those pens as well with my vouchers I went in WH Smiths and I was with my son as well, so I had to. I couldn't really look long, but I had to um, kind of hurry up. So I bought, I picked up this, and I haven't picked up a cross stitch magazine for a very long time because I I tend to mark my charts as I go along, and I think with magazines and books, it's a shame to actually, uh, it's a shame to damage the book in the magazine, but. Um, I saw this recently, I think I saw it online and I really loved the look of that camper van, it was really really pretty, I just love the colours there, I've got messages coming from the phone so I just love those colours there and I was really impressed with that so I thought I'd pick this magazine off and um, that little kit quite cute as well, rainbow fish card kit so I shall be doing this one, well I should be doing that one I fancy just doing something little and yeah so i picked that up i thought i would i was having a look at the other cross stitch magazines they had as well um and i didn't pick up the world of cross stitching uh there was another one i think it was cross stitch gold and i was a bit on i was tempted i must admit i was tempted to pick that up as well but i thought well time was of the essence because as you can imagine shopping with a four-year-old doesn't doesn't go down well so yeah i just picked that one up and i thought i would get that and the last thing that i wanted to show you is oh my god this was to me this was a bargain of the century what i have actually picked up yesterday i had to nip into town to get a little bit of food shopping um and before I, before i get in town because i live by the seaside up the side streets they have these stitching shops but because they still are a fair little bit away from the town just on the bus route I don't usually go to them but yesterday I thought I'd get off early at an early stop and I'd go and have a look in those shops to see if they had anything quite good um, and I went in the one shop and when I saw this I, I snapped it off <laughs> I walked in the shop and I was just having a look round and this previous lady that I'd been in, she'd bought some knitting patterns and that. And when I looked at the side, I saw, just sitting on the side with lots of other things, not necessarily crafty stuff, I saw this. A box of threads. Now, as you can imagine, um, especially the brand named threads, they are like £1 a piece, especially if you're buying them from the shop. Even the cheaper brands of threads, uh, still a, you're paying still about 80 pence for a thread. 
so guess how much this box of threads was and look as you can imagine there are a lot of threads in there i have not counted how many threads there are but there are a lot there are a lot of threads so can have a guess how much that was i paid three pound for that yeah <laughs> that's what i thought <laughs> if you're thinking uh, that's what I thought because I asked her, I picked her up and I asked the lady, I said uh, how much was the box of threads because I was, I was expecting her honestly to say about £10, something like that. Because to be honest, I'd even pay £10 for that, I still would pay £10 for it. And she said, was it just the one, a couple of threads I wanted to pick or was it the box? And I said, well, the box really. <laughs> and she said £3, I was like, definitely, that is a good deal, definitely done. So a poor woman nearly had her arm ripped off <laughs> when I bought those. So yeah, I was well impressed with those. I was so excited when I got back home. I said to my husband, I said, I'm so excited about I've got the bargain and the sentry. So I'm really pleased with that. Uh, what I wanted to do today as well, because that is all I've been doing, stitching related wise. It may not seem a lot, but to be honest, I have been stitching a hell of a lot. I've been doing quite a bit. What I wanted to do was, I wanted to do a get to know your needle worker because I've done questions before, um, I think it was in my first couple of videos, where I've noticed a lot of people do them, so I should have probably written the questions down, so I'm going to have a quick look on my phone, see if we can get some of the questions um, for get to know your needle worker, and we're going to answer some of those questions so get at not at get to know get to know me tag questions 37 get to know me questions ah 371 random get to know me questions Okay. Oh, sorry. It's still loading up. Right. Oh God, no. These are definitely not the kind of questions I want. Um. Sorry about this. I probably should have looked for these before. I should have done, but I want to get these questions out if I can. No, I questions. Oh, you have to do a subscription to know that. Oh, gosh. Get to know your needle worker. Get to know your needle worker tag. So we're going to have a look at that. And we're going to see if we can get some questions up for floss tube questions. So, ah, we've got some here. So, here is, is the first 10. So, we're going to do the first 10. So, first question, where do you live? Now, some of these questions that I'm, at, that I'm going to answer now is, I've probably answered them in a previous video, but I thought for if you've actually not got to watch the previous videos, you can get to know these. So the first question is, where do you live? For people that don't know, I live in Morecambe, Lancashire. It's a lovely seaside place. Well, I say lovely, it's a small seaside place. And it's about 20, 30 miles away from Blackpool. We have not got an awful lot of shops in Morecambe. They're more in Lancaster way. But we've got the seaside. And in the summer, it is absolutely bursting full of people. Uh, second question, what do you do for a living? Well, at the minute, I'm, I'm unemployed, but in a way, I'm not. I do body shop. Well, I've been doing a body shop for a little bit from home. Um, I also do some college courses. I've recently done an English college course, GCSE, and a pre-GCSE maths, and a pre-access. I've now finished my pre-access into health and social. I've finished my English and Maths course, I've got my English exams coming up this week and I've recently done a couple of Maths exams as well but I shall be going on to do my um, GCC Maths in September as well as I'm going to be doing a beauty course as well in September level 2 
Uh, question three, do you have any children? I have two children. I have a boy and a girl. We, um, the boy is four and the girl is two. And they're absolutely gorgeous. I love them to bits. Even though they can wrap me around the little finger. Um, do you have any pets? I have a cat called Pinger. <laughs> One of these videos, I'll try and get him in on the video. If you could check back though on my previous videos, he'll probably be in one of those because I know I have included him. What are your other hobbies besides stitching? Well, I've told you that one. Um, I love adult colouring. I like diamond painting even though unfortunately I can't do it that much because of my back problems. Um, I like crochet. I've done knitting even though I don't tend to knit a lot these days. Uh, just other things like that. Um, I like rug making as well. So, what is your favourite movie? I have technically got a fair, I've got a few favourite movies. If one, I'll just name one. Back to the Future. I love Back to the Future. I can watch that time and time and time and time again. And I can never get bored. I absolutely love it. And if I remember correctly, I know Lollipop Stitches like, loves that as well. Uh, what is your favourite TV show? At the minute, my fa like I said, I've got a few ones that I love watching, but at the minute I'm watching Benidorm. I'm late on the thing watching that. I love Benidorm. It is so, so funny. I've been watching it the night when I've been in bed, um, which is probably not ideal because it's been keeping me from sleeping. Um, I didn't go to sleep till 4 o'clock the other morning because I was too hooked on watching that. I just love it. It is so, so funny. It's so funny. But it also makes me want to go to Benidorm. But I really, really love that. I'm on season six at the minute. So, what is your favourite book? Um, my favourite book, I've got loads of books that I love. I love the Harry Potter collection. I've just started reading from the first book again recently, the other night. I've recently read... Um, Stephen King Misery, which was really good as well, and the beginning of this year, no, the bleh, the beginning of this year, I read it, which is a very thick book. Uh, what is your favourite music? Well, I'm a baby of the eighties, so I like anything from the eighties. I like nineties music. I don't even know the latest music these days. I'm really slow on that. I don't know. <laughs> I just like the older type music like that. I love power ballads, things like that. The only music I'm not keen on is dance and reggae. I really don't like reggae. I've not got anything against people that do like reggae. Um, because you, you like what you like. <laughs> so what? <laughs> I could be best friends with someone who does love reggae. It doesn't, obviously, it doesn't bother me. But personally, it's not for me. And the last question. One word best describes you now i'd say you can't really say one word that best describes you because you'd need a couple of words because somebody was um saying this in, the other day in one of the youtubes one word that best describes me i'll give you i'm going to give you a couple of one is caring i try to be caring as much as i can i am a very caring person um i do care a lot about people even though maybe sometimes i don't deserve it i do um, I'm very emotional. I'm an emotional person. Um, I can, I'm just very emotional and caring. It's just me, my kind of nature, and the cat's there. <laughs> yeah. So that that is what I'd describe about myself. Um, so that is all for today. I'm going to leave it now because we're up to nearly forty minutes. In my next floss tube video, I'm going to do is I'm going to find some more interesting questions about get to know your needle worker, and we're going to I'm going to pre-find them so I'm not searching on my phone while I'm doing it. Uh, as I said, Friday I'm going to a stitching retreat, so I'm going to be uploading a couple of pictures. I'm going to be uploading a picture video of the retreat. Um, I may do. A, a couple of live videos from the retreat as well just to just to load onto YouTube um, and I shall do that so I'll keep a lookout for that I just want to say thank you for watching a couple of shout outs before I go um, I've started watching some new people obviously besides watching I I love McKenna as you all well know I love top knot stitcher and um, there's pip stitch 
um, I love him as well. He's absolutely brilliant. I recently caught up on um, the Weasley Studios, Weasley Studios uh, videos. I recently caught up on those. Um, I have got a lot of people to catch up on as well. I've also just watched The Long Dog Stitcher. I've recently watched her videos last night. Um, she's lovely as well. And another one as well, which is also going to the retreat, is um, Lisa S. Stitches. I've recently watched, well, I've kind of been watched all her videos there um, a few nights, a few days ago. I and mean, she's such a sweetheart, lovely, and her stitching is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And I really can't wait to on the I really can't wait to meet her on the retreat as well as everybody else. So I'm gonna leave it here for now. It is over 40 minutes. I was afraid this video would not last, but it has, so I'm really glad about that. Uh if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Uh also don't forget to press that subscribe button and I shall see you again soon. Bye!